This episode of Shot Through the Heart contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter, including reference of animal violence. Viewer discretion is advised. (sighs) Still sleepy? Yeah. I forgot how draining driving is. I can take over, you know. Nah, it's okay. Once I get some coffee in me, I'll be ready to go. (laughs) What? Do you not trust my driving? You know it's not that, Maggie. I just want you to be able to relax this weekend. What good is a romantic Valentine's Day getaway if we're both too tired to enjoy it? Yeah, um... I don't want you to be too tired to enjoy it either. I need you to be full of energy. At least until I'm done with you. Is that so? Hello, welcome to Olga Things. My name is Penny and I'll be your server today. Have you had a chance to look at the menu? Yes, thank you. Uh, Maggie? Hi, um, can I please get a jasmine green tea and the vegetarian breakfast wrap? Sure thing. And for you? I'll have a coffee, black, and the bacon breakfast sandwich. Oh, can I get a side of sausage as well? Side of sausage? Sure. And did you want potatoes or fruit with the sandwich? Uh, Fruit, please. All right. I'll be right back with those drinks. Really, Jason? Bacon and sausage? Hey, I got the fruit too. That's healthy. You know you're supposed to avoid processed meats. It's just one meal, Maggie. I'll be fine. Besides, we're on vacation. Diet restrictions go out the window. No, they do not, Jason. I'm sorry, Max. I'm just still getting used to not being able to eat whatever I want. I know, sweetheart. But once we get your blood pressure back down, you can be a little bit more flexible with your diet. But you're going to let me have some Valentine's chocolates, right? Hmm, maybe one. Just one? Ugh, this sucks. (laughs) One jasmine green tea and one black coffee. Do you two need anything else? No, we're okay for now, thank you. All right, just let me know if you need anything. The food shouldn't be much longer. Thanks. So, how much longer do we have until we reach the cabin? Uh, Let me check. Hmm. Looks like five more hours. We have to go all the way around Portheim Peak, then there's a ferry to Vikram Island. It's still so far. It's not that bad. And the ferry will be exciting. Maybe we'll see some whales. This place better be worth it. Well, if it looks anything like the photos, it will be. True. The photos of the lake look stunning. Do you think it'll be warm enough to swim? Probably not. Unless you wear a wetsuit. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll just dip my toes in it. A wise decision. Still doing okay? Want me to top off that coffee? Oh, sure. Thank you. Did I hear you folks right? You're headed up to Vikram Island? Yeah, I booked us a cabin there for Valentine's. I'm actually originally from there. It's a lovely place. I'm sure you two will have a great time there. This cabin? Is it near Town Square? No, it's further out. In the forest. I see. Make sure you get supplies beforehand. There's only one shop in the Town Square. And if you're headed out to the forest... It'll be quite the drive to get back into town. Sounds like there's a story there. Oh yeah. A few years ago, some of those survivalist folks went out and planned to hunt for food. You know, trapping rabbits, hunting down deer. Ugh. I take it that didn't go well? Nope. The rangers found their bodies a few weeks later. Huh? I don't get it. Why didn't they just drive back into town? This is where the story gets a little confusing. Some say they had been dropped off at a campsite and they got lost in the woods, trying to find their way back into town. And what do the other people say? Well, some claim that they were killed by some sort of wild animal. Huh. Yeah, those are two drastically different ways to die. Yep. The police claimed it was a classic case of dehydration and starvation, but no photos were ever released, and if anyone came to claim the bodies, they never talked to the press. So, naturally, people started talking, and then the rumors started. Seems like a classic case of small-town boredom. Exactly. But, however, these people died. They still ended up dead. So, we always advise people to be smart and prepared if they venture outside the town. Oh, thanks for the heads up. We'll make sure we have everything before we need to head out. Yeah, thanks. Of course. Let me go check on your food. (laughs) <laughs> Uh-oh. Guess I know why this place was so cheap now. It's the forest of death. 
so ridiculous. Honestly, how does something like that even happen? You think survivalists of all people would be able to, I don't know, survive in the woods? Maybe it really was an animal attack. Maybe a wild rabbit got mad they stole its carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We really shouldn't make light of people's deaths. You're right. And we probably should check our supplies. We've got enough water for sure, but let's go over our list of meals when we get back into the car. Yeah, sure. Maybe we can stop and pick up carrots to satiate the demon rabbits. Hey, <laughs> now you're thinking. And if we don't see any, then at least we've got your Valentine's Day treat. No, oh, now you're just being cruel. Well, it's only because I care, Bugs. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> You know, I'm glad to be off that ferry. Did you feel it tip at one point, or was that just me? Yeah. For a moment, I thought we'd sink before getting to the romantic death island. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I was just gonna say that I thought these roads would make me feel safer, but... Well, they're not that bad. Oh! Hmm. <clears throat> you were saying? <laughs> well, that one is mostly on me. Look, it's a remote island. We can't expect it to be completely smooth sailing. Jason, I'm just worried. If this is the more traveled road, it just makes me wonder how bad the trek to the cabin is going to be. Yeah, didn't think about that. When we get into town for the supplies, I'll make sure to ask about detailed directions to the cabin. What I have printed out probably won't be enough. Good idea. And, hey, I'm not meaning to put down the trip. I, I do love that you've done this for our Valentines. I know. I just wish I'd done a little more research into this place instead of just believing the photos straight away. Don't worry. As long as we're together, it'll be great. It's always great. This year, I want perfect. You deserve perfect. Huh. 
<sighs> you okay? Yeah, just a chill went up my spine. Probably just too used to the heat in the car. Sure that's all it is? Mm-hmm. All good. Look, the story's over there. It looks a little small, but it should have everything we need. Yeah, come on. Hopefully the owner will be good with directions, too. Oh, it's Annabelle. You go on, I'll catch up. Okay, tell her hi from me. Hey, Annabelle. Jason says hi, by the way. Whoa, wasn't expecting you to answer so fast. <laughs> I'd have thought the signal would be shoddy at best. Yeah, I think it'll be a miracle to get any signal the closer we get to the cabin. So, how's the Valentine trip going? I bet it's super cute, like something out of a movie. Oh, the island is beautiful. A little more wild than we were expecting. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's just, um, gosh, I could have sworn that the car that just went by was Harrison. Seriously? Are you missing us that much already? I know it's probably me just imagining things, but I feel like I wouldn't know that shade of lime green anywhere. Yeah, I mean, it is a pretty obnoxious color. Could you imagine, though, Harrison crashing your big trip? I wouldn't put it past him. So? You still haven't told me anything about the trip! Do you think Jason's whisked you away to propose? Uh, propose? Yes! Come on, think about it! Any other Valentine's, it's just been a meal at a restaurant, movie day kind of thing. But this, a romantic trip to an island cabin where it's just the two of you? I mean, he's got to be planning something, right? I mean, maybe? But if it's just a romantic trip away, that's still more than I was expecting. Proposal or not, I'm still very lucky to have a guy like him. No, oh, you two are so cute. Listen, I gotta go. If there's a signal, I'll text you later, okay? Sure thing. Be safe, both of you. <laughs> See you later. Hey, for a minute I thought you'd run off. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I was planning on it, but you have the keys. <laughs> yep, I'm always two steps ahead. See anything else you think we need? I'll have a look around. Hey, why is the guy behind the counter giving you that look? Oh, he was like that when I walked in. Nice enough to give me the extra directions we needed. But? But when I mentioned the mysterious deaths, he told me there wasn't any more to say about that. Maybe he just doesn't like talking about something that gives his home a bad look. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think this is enough. Let's pay so we can get back on track for our amazing Valentine's vacation. Well, at least it still has a roof. <laughs> Barely. I'm sorry, Maggie. I didn't think it would be like this. It's okay, Jason. Honestly, it's, um, cozy looking. Let's go check out what it looks like inside. Yeah. Okay. It's not so bad. A little musty smelling, but I guess that's to be expected. If we get that fire going, it'll be pretty nice. Why don't you get settled in, and I'll start bringing in the luggage. Sure. Huh. Never thought I'd be proposed to in a place like this. But at least he's making an effort. <coughs> a little dusty in here. There. Hopefully some fresh air will help with the dust. And the smell. Hey, love. Can you start putting the food away? Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. I'm gonna go get the last of the bags. Okay, salad. Fridge. Apples. Strawberries. Pears. Fridge. Crackers. Popcorn and pasta go into the cupboard. Waters. Half in the fridge, the other half in the counter. Where's the other bag? Hey, hun, where's the other bag of food? Huh? Oh, it's on the counter. No, there were three bags at home. You only brought in two. Really? Are you sure? There's only two bags, see? I packed the bag that was in the fridge and the one on the counter. There were two bags in the fridge, Jason. What? No, there wasn't. There was. One on the shelf and one in the crisper. I didn't know that. Are you serious? Did you not double-check the list? I looked at the list and peeked into the bag. I just assumed that you had packed everything. I did pack everything. It's just not in the same bag. 
Okay, so what are we missing? We have no bread for the sandwiches, and we only have enough for two dinners and no lunches. Unless we just have some snacks, I guess. All right, well, we can go back into town tomorrow and grab some supplies. We have enough for tonight and tomorrow morning, right? Yeah, I guess. Then it's no big deal. It took us an hour to get here from town, Jace. So, we'll lose two hours tomorrow. It's really not that big of a deal. <sighs> I suppose. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't notice the second bag, Maggie. How about we just forget about that for tonight and enjoy ourselves? Then tomorrow morning, I'll make you some fruit salad, serve you breakfast in bed. Does that sound okay? But what about the- Then, after breakfast, how about we go for a little hike? See if we can find that lake? We'll relax a little bit before heading back into town, quickly grab some food, then be back before sunset. I guess we could do all of that. Great. Then that's what we will do. I just want you to be happy this weekend. I am. Honest. This is great, Jason. It's perfect. Thank you for planning all this for me. Well, it's certainly not perfect, but it's nice, right? It is. Anywhere would be nice as long as you're here with me. It's okay. You can admit it. That was the best fruit salad you've ever had. Yes, oh mighty chef, it was the best meal I've ever had the honor of eating. No other meal in the history of ever can compare. I know, I know. I'm a genius when it comes to food. <laughs> if you wrote a cookbook, I'd buy it. I know, right? Practically sitting on a gold mine idea right there. <laughs> How about we think of the gold mine later and focus on the lake you mentioned yesterday? You got it. So, we just head down this path and through the forest trail. <laughs> Lead on. Who knows? If you get us there and back in one piece, you can write an explorer's guide, too. <laughs> Chapter 1. Enjoy nature. You know, after a good night's sleep and a nice breakfast, this place is a lot more beautiful. It's really peaceful out here. I don't think anything could spoil it. Is that... <gasps> oh my god! It is! What? <laughs> hey, you guys! Small world, huh? I knew it. Harrison? Stephanie? W what are you two doing here? Isn't this wild? I mean... What are the chances? Oh, I'd say they're pretty likely, seeing as I told Harris in these plans after I booked. Ugh. Babe, is this true? You told me you put a lot of thought into this Valentine's trip. And I did. Sure. Harrison. Look, it's not like I stole their cabin from them. There's tons of them. You can't own an idea. I thought a trip away would be super romantic, too. I just couldn't afford to take you to Paris or Rome like you always wanted. I love you, and I wanted to do something special. Oh, hey. Oh, brother. So, where are you two lovebirds headed? Or would you rather we left you alone? Well, we were on our way to the lake. We wanted to see it while it was still bright before getting some food in town. The lake? Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh, but we can go see it later. No, you can come along, if you want. I mean, we're all here now anyway, right? You sure? There's plenty of other things we can do, so we're not in the way. You're not in the way, Steph. It was just a surprise to see you guys here. Great, you won't even know we're here. Of course, when we want some alone time, we'll just sneak back into the cabin. Great, thanks for the heads up on that. So excited! Lead the way, Jason! Christ! How much longer? It shouldn't be too much longer. The trees are starting to get a little more spread out, which usually means there's a clearing up ahead. Good. Because all this walking sucks ass. You could have stayed behind, Harrison. Yes, I could have, but there's nothing to do at that shitty cabin. You don't like the cabin. You don't like hiking. Is there anything you do like about this trip? I like the look on your face when you realized I was here. Okay, Harrison. Enough. What? I'm sorry, Maggie. I hope you're still having a good time. Had I known Harrison booked a cabin next to yours, I would have told him to cancel. Oh no, it's okay. He probably wouldn't have listened anyways. I'm right here! I can hear you! Oh, I know you can. Okay, let's not argue. What's done is done. So we may as well just have some fun, right? Oh yeah, a double date vacation for Valentine's. 
can't think of a more romantic getaway. Maggie. I'm sorry. Sorry. It'll be fun. Won't ruin any of our plans at all. Hey, I think I can see the lake. Come on. Finally. We can go. I can try to convince Harrison to head back home. No, don't be ridiculous. You traveled just as far as we did. Enjoy yourself, and I'll do the same. Okay, but once the hike is over, Harrison and I can go back to our cabin and stay there for the rest of the weekend. So you and Jason can have some privacy. Um, actually, what'd you bring for food? Hmm? Jason forgot to pack one of our food bags. We were gonna drive back into town after this, but maybe we could combine our food and have dinner together? I mean, yeah, we can totally do that, but are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's not my ideal weekend, true, but I enjoy spending time with you and Jason is having fun with Harrison. I mean, it's just Valentine's Day. Mega corporations pushing chocolate sales. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. If Jason's right, since you're both here, we may as well make the most of it. It's not often we get to go traveling with you two. <sighs> Thanks, Maggie. I was really worried you'd be upset. <laughs> Aw, I can never stay mad at you, Steph. Harrison, on the other hand. <laughs> hey, hurry up. The lake is beautiful. Hmm, better get over there before Harrison jumps into the lake. Or pushes Jason in. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. And the pictures didn't do it justice. <laughs> Come stick your feet in. The water isn't too cold. Did you bring anything to dry yourself off with? No. Then how are you gonna get your shoes back on? Uh, air dry? Duh. It's okay, I brought a towel. <laughs> See? It's fine. Now come check out the water. Feels good on the soles after a long walk. Hmm, my feet are kinda sore. Okay, I'm coming in. <laughs> oh my god, oh it's cold! Harrison, you liar! <laughs> He'll warm up. But doesn't it feel nice between your toes? Mm, it does. You should come in, Maggie. I will. I just want to enjoy this beauty for a moment. So, what do you think? Worth a trek? Oh, absolutely. Jason, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Hey, uh, Maggie. Jason, come take a selfie with me. Oh, yeah, sure. No, oh, this is such a good photo. I'm gonna make it my profile pic. Damn, no service. You can change it when we get back to the cabin. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, we're gonna share our food with Steph and Harrison, and they're gonna share their food with us. That way we can just relax and we don't have to worry about going back into town. We are? That's okay with you, right? I just figured it was better than having to drive for two hours. Um, yeah, if that's what you want. Is that not what you want? I just thought that maybe we would... You know, have dinner alone. Why don't we have dinner with them tonight, and then tomorrow for Valentine's Day we can spend the evening alone? <laughs> what? No, nothing. It was just funny that a little while ago you were complaining that they were ruining our trip, and now you want to spend time with them? I would have preferred them not to come. But you were right. There's no point in letting them being here ruin our entire weekend. Besides, you and I both know that Harrison would take it personally if we didn't have dinner with him. True. Okay. So, tonight we'll have dinner with Harrison and Steph, then tomorrow... Some alone time? Mm-hmm. I can agree to that. Good. It's a date, then. Come on, lovebirds. Get in the water before our toes get pruney. You go ahead, Jason. I'm gonna take a few more photos, and then I'll join you in the lake. Uh, wait. Maggie... There's, uh, there's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? Uh, you know what? Never mind. It, it's not important. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Oh, shit! What just touched my foot? What? Something just touched my foot! It was probably just a fish. Relax. There's fish in here? Of course. Oh, why didn't you tell me? What have brought my rod? Well, maybe if you had actually researched the place you booked a cabin at, you would have known. Why you always gotta be such a negative Nancy? You just bring out the best in me, Harrison. Why don't you stop taking pictures and stick your feet in the water? Harrison! You ass. 
Come on, that's not cool. <laughs> oh, lighten up. It's a sunny day. Who cares if you get a little wet? Yeah, maybe it's sunny, but it's still chilly outside. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Harrison. Leave her alone. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Jason, go keep him distracted so I can take my photos, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Cold, cold, cold! Hello? Is someone there? Hello? Hello there. Uh... Jason! It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Just a humble hunter. You okay? There's a... a hunter. Everything all right? Yeah, I think so. Good afternoon. I was just passing by and heard some shouting. Not many folks come out to the heart of the forest. Heart of the forest? That's what we call this lake. It's in the center of the forest. The heart that sustains all life here. I see. You're a hunter? What sort of animals are you hunting? Ah, now that's quite the question. How so? How do I begin to explain? Well, you see, there are two hearts to this forest. The lake and the heart. What's the second heart? There's a legend about this forest. Once upon a time, there were two hearts. That's H-A-R-T. What's a heart? A heart is a type of deer, right? Yeah, I think it is. It's what they'd hunt back in medieval times, right? Yes. A heart is a deer, but the two hearts that wandered this forest were no normal hearts. The legend states that these were the guardians of the forest, benevolent spirits that protected all creatures, even the tiniest of insects. But? But... It feels like you were building up to a but. Well, tragedy befell one of the hearts. No one is quite sure how it died, but it did. That's so sad. Indeed. But the legend doesn't end there. Of course it doesn't. Without the second heart to help protect the forest, an evil monster now stalks these woods, searching for the remaining guardian spirit. <laughs> Wait, does this have something to do with those survivalists that were killed? Survivalists? So, you heard about that, huh? Well, nothing was ever confirmed, but many believe the monster killed them. Haven't had many tourists since then. Understandable, I suppose, if you're superstitious. So then the answer to my question is, you're hunting a monster? <laughs> don't be silly. Monsters don't exist. I'm hunting the heart. What, so you believe in the myth about the heart but not the monster? And why would you want to kill the guardian of the forest anyway? Folks around these parts have seen the heart, but no one has ever seen the monster. Only rumors of a strange song that echoes in the dark. So, I hunt what I know exists, and what will fetch me a pretty penny. That is disgusting. How much money are we talking? Enough to get me off this island, and into a big house along the beach on the mainland. Damn, where can one go to find this heart? If I knew that, I wouldn't be out here wandering like a lost lamb. Well, best of luck finding your dear. Thank you. You folks have fun, and be sure to head back before sundown. That monster might not be real, but there are other things that could kill you in these woods. Thanks. We won't be out too much longer. Right then. Perhaps I'll see you folks later. See ya. Bye. What a weird guy. I hope he, or any other hunter, never finds that heart. We should go look for it. What? Why? You heard that guy. Think of all the cash we can get for some stupid deer. No, absolutely not. Jason, you agree, right? I... Just imagine it. Killing one deer would help pay off all your medical bills. Jason. Makes a point, Bags. No, you're not seriously considering killing an innocent creature. On top of that, potentially a rare breed that could be endangered. I... Uh... <laughs> I can't believe you. I'm going back to the cabin. What? But we just got here. You haven't even touched the water. I just don't want to be here anymore. Steph, can you come back with me? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll come too. No, you stay here. You and Harrison can go hunt your deer, but Steph and I are heading back. No, babe, come on. Let's all just head back together. What? We're here to relax and have a good time. Yeah, and I'd consider making some quick cash as having a good time. Harrison, stop. Ah, fine, whatever. Let's just go back to the lame cabins. <laughs> wow, this looks great. I don't know about you guys, 
but I'm starving after all that walking. <sighs> it was so nice out today, but I am glad to just sit down and relax now. Once we finish eating, we should talk strategy. Strategy? <laughs> yeah, for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Valentine's. I thought you and Steph were going to do something together, like Jason and I were. You know, like, by ourselves. Look, we can't ignore the golden opportunity we're faced with here. No, absolutely not. Yes, yes, we know you're a killjoy. But just stop for a moment and think about what this could do for all of us. We'd be rich! You really want to hunt on Valentine's. That's your issue with this? Look, we're not here for very long. If we're going to do this, we need to do it tomorrow. I'm sorry, babe. But if we do this right, every day will be Valentine's. I'll be able to take you to Paris and feed you as much chocolate as you want. Why are we discussing this again? We already put this topic to bed. Yeah? Well, I'm waking it up again, Jason. Come on! You know this isn't something we should ignore. It is a rare animal, Harrison. Should we really hunt something like that? Stop letting Maggie's righteousness get in your head and think for yourself for once. He does think for himself, asshole. I'm not asking you, Maggie. I'm asking him. Ugh. <sighs> Jason, do you really want to waste this? Do you really want to say goodbye to this amount of money that'll make all your worries disappear? Well... I'm sorry, Mags, but I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't tempted by the thought. Yes! I knew you'd be up for this. Okay, so we'd have to get up super early. Wait, I didn't say that I would actually hunt it. Just that I was tempted by the money. It's the same thing, though, isn't it? Finally, something we can agree on. Look, Jason, I'm hunting that deer tomorrow, with or without you. Now, I'm more than happy to share the cash, if you help. But if I do it alone... Harrison, that's not fair. None of this is fair. I can't believe you're all going along with this. Jason? Jace? What time tomorrow? <laughs> Mags, Mags, please, you know I'm not doing this lightly. I'm not going to sit here and listen to your little war meeting. I don't agree to this. You can't make me be a part of any of it. So you're just going to sulk here all day tomorrow? Yeah, at least then my conscience will be clean. Look, I get you're not happy, but will you at least come out with us tomorrow? I won't be hunting, but I also don't want to just stay in the cabin all day. If we're being realistic, it's more than likely we won't even see the heart tomorrow. Chances are it'll be a hike and nothing more. What's with the negativity? If she wants a mobile round, let her! I just think we need to manage our expectations here. The hunter earlier looked pretty professional, and he hasn't been able to track down the heart. Yeah, he did seem like he knew what he was doing. Did you see that equipment he had? So, what's your point? My point is, he seemed to have been after the heart for years. We'd be idiots to think it's just going to appear for some tourists. Harrison, we might not see it. Fine, fine. We might not do it. But you know what? I'm not going to let that stop me. If there's a chance I can do this and earn money for Steph and me that have a great life, then I'm going to do it. <laughs> that determination would be almost admirable. If you were putting it towards something besides murder. Christ, Maggie, it's just a goddamn animal. <laughs> so, Mags, what's it to be? You're going to stay here tomorrow? Or are you going to come on the off chance you can say, I told you so, to our faces when we fail? <sighs> I can't believe this is how I'm spending my Valentine's Day. Yeah, I didn't have hunting a deer on my Valentine's bingo card. But you know how Harrison gets. Once he has an idea in his mind, he has to follow through. I thought Jason was going to propose this weekend. Really? Yeah, I mean, our first date was technically on Valentine's Day, and this is our four-year anniversary. Why else would he have planned such an elaborate getaway? Yeah, I can see why you thought that. And here we are, crashing your engagement. 
I feel terrible. No, no, don't. You you couldn't have known. Besides, Jason didn't even ask yet, so maybe I'm wrong. Well, I hope he does ask. You two are perfect for one another. Yeah, I thought so too. Until Jason jumped on the opportunity to kill and sell an animal without any hesitation. To be fair, Jason has been pretty stressed out about his medical debt. He's probably desperate to find a way to pay that off before it becomes unmanageable. I just... I wish he found another way. One that doesn't require an animal to die. I know. Though, it is kind of fun to watch them pretend like they know what they're doing. They have no idea what to do, do they? <laughs> no. Do you think the hand gestures mean anything? Or are they just mimicking things they've seen in a bond flip? Oh, they absolutely don't mean a thing. The ear tug? That's definitely from baseball. <laughs> hey, at least they're having fun. As long as they don't end up shooting one another while playing soldier or whatever. No, they'll be okay. Harrison has gone through numerous gun safety courses, and he's an expert marksman. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <sighs> My legs are getting tired, though. I've done more walking in the past two days than I have in the rest of the year combined. You want to sit down? Yeah, thanks. Hmm, there's a tree root by that little waterfall. We can go sit on that while the boys play. Yeah. Hey, got any water left? Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Think the water from that creek or the falls is safe to drink? We could refill our water bottles. Mm, I'm not sure. Probably best not to drink it. Probably. How much longer do you think those two will want to keep searching? I don't know. But we are going to have to turn in soon. We don't have any snacks and we're about to be out of water. Harrison will want to keep looking until he finds the stupid thing. We would probably stay out here all night if we had a flashlight. Yeah, well, like Jason said, the chances of us finding the heart are slim at best. Wait. Stephanie, are you okay? What color are deer usually? Huh? They're usually brown. Why? So, like, giant white one is probably not common. Huh? What are you? No way. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it is. It's... it's the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Should we tell the guys? What? No. Let's just let it drink and go on its way before they end up trying to kill the poor thing. They wouldn't. I mean, look at that thing. One look at how gorgeous this thing is, and they'll change their minds. <sighs> I don't know. Harrison seemed pretty... <laughs> I told you I could make that shot, Jace! Harrison! You bastard! What? You knew what we were out here to do! I can't believe we actually found it. I can't believe you actually shot it. Oh, seriously? What? Are you serious right now? Hey. Alive and suffering. What should we do? Staff, you're not mad at me too, are you? How could you shoot it like this? Because that's what we came out here to do? You do know what hunting means, right? Of course, but look at this thing. It's beautiful. It was. But you know what else is beautiful? A handful of cash. Harrison. Oh, don't you start with me, Jason. You were cheering me on, betting on whether or not I could hit the thing. You were? Maggie, I... You're both horrible. Whatever. You'll forget about this thing in a few weeks. Sooner if you use your share to go on a vacation. I don't want anyone to do your slaughter. Oh, come on. It's not that big of a deal. It's a stupid deer. Now move out of the way. What are you doing? Putting it out of its misery. Maggie, don't look. Sorry, Max. I, I shouldn't have let Harrison shoot. Christ, why are you all such saps? It's just an animal! <sighs> Alright. Now, how do we get this thing back to the car? You're seriously gonna drag this thing back to the cabin? Uh, yeah. How else are we supposed to cash in on this thing? I think I'm gonna be sick. Jesus, Jason. Your woman is acting like I killed a baby or something. I'll go check on her. Damn it! 
How did this weekend go so wrong? Chill out, man. Valentine's is a stupid holiday, and everyone knows it. You don't get it, Harrison. I was going to propose this weekend. You were? Yeah. And now Maggie can barely look at me. We never should have gone after this stupid deer. Seriously, man, she's going to forget all about it, and you'll have the money to pay off all those bills. It may not seem like it, but this heart is the best thing that could have happened to us this weekend. What was that? I don't know. I'm... I'm going to check on Maggie and Steph. What about the heart? That thing is too big to take with us. Without the proper equipment, there's no way we can get it back to the cabins. Okay. Then we take the antlers with us and we come back for the body later. What? Don't you need, like, a circular saw or something? I've got a gun and a lot of bullets. Eventually the skull is going to give way. Okay, that's a little too brutal for me. Suit yourself. Go hide in the forest with the women. I'll get these antlers and join up with you when I'm done. Yeah, fine. Maggie? Over here! Uh, Harrison's just finishing up. He'll be here in a second. What the hell is he doing? You don't want to know. Can we just go home? Soon, hon. As soon as Harrison gets here. I'm so sorry, you two. I wish we had never come here. We've ruined everything for you. No, Steph, you didn't ruin anything. Look, I know you're both angry with Harrison, but when he comes back, let's try to put this all behind us, okay? Yeah, okay. Maggie? I can't forgive him for this, Jason, I can't. I'm not asking you to. I just want to get through the rest of this day without any more fights. Can you do that for me, Max? Yeah, I'll try. Thank you, sweetheart. Hey, guys, good news! I've got the antlers! What does he mean by that? He, uh, wanted to bring the antlers back with us. Are you joking? Guys, where are you? Over here! Oh my god, Jason, I can't. It was a lot harder than I thought. But I got them off. At least we'll get some cash for these babies if the body is found by somebody else before we come back. Hey, man, can't you put those further into your bag? I've got stuff in here. This is as far as I can go. Okay. Can you at least wipe the blood off the antlers? You're upsetting Maggie. Of course I am. Yeah, sure, of course. Anything for Princess Maggie. You're an asshole, Harrison. A soon-to-be rich asshole, thanks. Okay, that's enough. Harrison, wipe those things clean. Maggie, Steph, start heading back to the cabin. We'll catch up. Right. Come on, Maggie. Let's go. There's that noise again. What do you think it is? I don't know. But I don't want to stick around to find out what's making that sound. Come on, let's go. This can't be right. This isn't right. What is it? It's, uh, it's the trail. It's not where it's supposed to be. There should be a turn right here. Well, maybe you're confused. Or maybe it's further down a path we're on. Yeah, I mean, there's only ever been one trail and we're on it. You're probably just misremembering how it goes. I, I don't think so. I know we haven't been on the island long, but this definitely doesn't feel right. It's almost like... Like... it's a different forest. Exactly. Oh, come on! You two are being ridiculous! It's the exact same forest. We're just a little turned around because it's nothing but trees, and we're out later than we thought. Yeah... it's just the trick of the light. Or rather, because of the lack of light. Can we please just keep walking? I want to get back to the cabin. We all do. It's just... Getting there, that's the problem. Let's just keep moving. If we're already this turned around, I don't want to think about stumbling around in the pitch black. The last thing we need to deal with is any of us getting injured, and I really don't want to risk dropping these antlers and losing them. You know, for a minute there, I really thought you cared about our safety. Believe what you like, but I do care, Maggie. But I can also care about protecting what's going to drastically change our lives. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Oh, the turn. You were right, it's here. <laughs> I guess my imagination got the, the better of me. But the turn's going back in the direction we just came from. Didn't it lead towards the slope? 
No, the slope was after the twisting part. See? Something's definitely not right. It's not just the forest. I feel like something's watching us. I don't like this. I never should have gone hunting. It's okay, babe, I promise. Nothing's watching us. And we'll be at the shitty but safe cabin soon. What is that noise? It's getting louder. It's just the typical forest noises. If we're being watched by anything, it's probably something small like an owl. Okay, I take it back. That's not an owl. Run! Run! <laughs> well, what, what is this thing? Don't think about it, just run! We need to get as far away from it as we can! Over there! Just a little further and we can hide and wait it out! Stop! <laughs> just push through it! Take my hand! Stephanie. I... I don't think she made it. We have to go check. No, we should run. We don't know for sure. What if she's still alive? Yeah, okay. Well, let's go check. Harrison, you coming? I... No. I'm going to stay here. Under this overhang, you know, hiding? Suit yourself. Come on, Mags. Let's hurry. Maggie, maybe you should stay here. No. I need to help Stephanie. Listen, hon, I need you to stay here. You understand me? Why can't I go with you? Because we both know you don't want to see what's up ahead. <laughs> hey, we'll be okay. I don't understand. Why did that thing kill Stephanie? I don't know, hon. We're gonna die, aren't we? The thing is going to kill us all. No, it won't. We're going to make it back to the cabin, and then we're going to pack up our things, and then get the hell out of here. We've been trying to get back to the cabin for hours. We're lost! I know that, Harrison. I'm just trying to stay positive. Maggie is right. We're all going to die. Would you shut up? What? This is your fault, Harrison. I wish I never told you about this place because I should have known you'd do something like this. You're always stealing my ideas and taking credit for them. What are you talking about? Those film ideas you sold? Those were mine. I told you about those in confidence. And the next thing I knew, you had signed a contract with a film distributor. Fuck off. Those ideas I got from dreams. No, they weren't. I have every idea written down in a journal. I can prove they're mine. You're a fucking liar, man. You probably jotted down those notes after I told you about my dreams! You can't even remember your own passwords and you expect me to believe you were able to remember multiple dreams? That's it! I've had enough of your high horse! You wanna talk smack? Then you're gonna get smacked! How original. Just like your original story ideas. Why you? That's enough! <sighs> Shit. Fuck! We need to move! My bag! Get my bag! Got it! Run! Run! Huh? Oh, shit! 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 Jason! It's after you! I know! Jason! Run, Maggie! Don't look back! 
Jason! Fuck! Maggie! Keep running! No, I won't leave Jason. I'll go back for him! But the monster! What is it doing? I don't know. Looks like it's sniffing Jason. He's not moving, Harrison. He's not moving. <sighs> If I hurry, I can make it before it comes back. You wait here. I want to come with you. No! Jason will kill me if I let something happen to you. Stay here and get ready to run if it comes back. Be careful. Jason! Jason! Uh, you're alive. Uh, my head. Shit! Ain't that be good? Can you stand? No. Fuck! Okay, where's the bag? My bag! The bag with the antlers! I don't know. I think it fell off when that thing sent me flying. I see it. Listen, buddy. I'll come back for you. What? You're just gonna leave me here? Just stay here and I'm sure you'll be okay. Maggie and I will go get help. Whatever you do, you get Maggie to safety. Okay? Yeah. Of course, buddy. Just hang in there. Oh, Jesus! Harrison! Harrison, where's Jason? He's dead! No. No. Come on! Let's move it before that thing gets us, too! No! Move it, Mags! I think we're safe for the moment. Let's take a break. Okay. Okay. We, we have to go back. We will. Once we go back to town and get some help. Don't you want to go back for Stephanie? Of course. But we're alive and they're not. There's no sense in us dying too. God, I can't believe this happened. Jason. Hey, don't cry. Jason wouldn't want that. We need to get our bearings and find our way back to the cabins. I don't... I don't think we can. What do you mean? Don't you remember that hunter story? He said there was an evil monster in the woods. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. Jason goes on hikes all the time. He knows... knew how to navigate trails. We were able to get back to the cabins without any trouble yesterday, but... Today... he got lost. What's your point, Maggie? I think this creature is controlling the forest. <laughs> like what? Telling the trees to move? I, I don't know. But it wouldn't be so far-fetched, would it? I mean, there's a monster running around for God's sake. Right, and the deer I killed was actually the guardian of the forest. The monster that was hunting down the remaining guardian of the forest. But now, it hunts us. Come on. We should move before it catches our scent or however it's tracking us. Okay, fine, but we need to think of a plan. We've been running around blindly and it's getting us nowhere. What do you propose then? Propose? Yeah, if this monster can really change the force, then how do we get out? Hello? Earth to Maggie? Sorry, it's just... I thought this was going to be the weekend Jason proposed. Uh, yeah. Uh... About that. Did he say something to you? Yeah. What... What did he say? He was going to propose. I see. I don't know if that makes you feel better or worse, but we need to get moving. If we just head in a straight line, eventually we'll make it to the road or at least the coastline. Can't. Can't what? I can't leave without Jason. For fuck's sakes, I told you he's dead! If we want to live, we need to get out of here before that monster comes back! No, it, it doesn't feel right. Just leaving him here. Fine. Whatever. You can stay here. But I'm going. Don't expect to share from the antlers either. You were against getting them from the start anyway. Harrison, wait. Come to your senses already? Why did you grab the bag? What do you mean? I grabbed it because of the antlers. Duh. I wasn't about to throw all that cash away just because Jason had them when the monster attacked. 
That's right. The monster attacked when- Run! Tree! Harrison! Jason? Jason! Maggie, stay back! I'm gonna try and kill this thing! I'm not afraid of you! Jason, don't! I'm on you! Jason, stop! We'll keep it distracted! Run, Maggie! No, just stop! Don't move! What? This thing will kill me! No, wait! Wait! This is what you wanted, right? These antlers are why you're chasing us. Maggie, what are you doing? Trust me. I'm sorry. My friend killed your heart. Please take these antlers and spare us. Please! I beg you, great protector of the forest, please forgive us. It's... It's leaving. Uh. Becky! That was incredible. Uh. You're alive! Of course I am. Didn't... Didn't Harrison tell you? No. He said you were dead. He did? B but why? He probably just wanted to make off with the antlers. He wouldn't do that, right? I guess we'll never know now. How did you know the monster wanted the antlers? When it was attacking us, it only went after the people with the antlers. But Stephanie? Died protecting Harrison, who had the antlers. And calling it the protector of the forest? A hunter story. There were two hearts, remember? One of them died, and that's when the monster showed up, but... I don't think it's a monster at all. I... I think it's the second heart. The one who died. I think it became that thing. So, it was hunting us because we killed its friend. Because Harrison defiled a sacred spirit. What do you think's gonna happen to it now? I don't know. But it looks like we earned its forgiveness. Look. The cabin! Come on, let's get you to a hospital. Wait. Before anything else happens, I need to ask you something. Stop. Yes. The answer is yes. How long does a fractured arm take to heal? Weren't you listening to the doctor? Um, apparently not. I was distracted by my future wife standing in the same room as me. Oh, is she someone I know? <laughs> nah, no one you've met, but she's pretty brave and gorgeous and damn smart. <laughs> Flatterer. But don't worry, your smart bride-to-be has everything the doctor said written down for you. I'd be lost without you, hon. <laughs> How are you holding up? I honestly don't know. This all seems like a bad dream. Yeah, I know. I keep expecting to wake up back at home. Or at least have Harrison and Stephanie barge into this hospital room and make up some wise-ass comment. Yeah. Same. What, uh, what did the police say? They said they're going to sweep the forest for their bodies, but they aren't confident they'll find them. I didn't really know how to explain our location as trapped in an endless maze created by a forest spirit. Fair enough. And they're going with the generic wild animal attack story? Yeah, looks like it. I guess we know what happened to those survivalists now. All right, you're free to go. Here's a prescription for some painkillers. Be sure to use these until your concussion clears. No ibuprofen, understand? No ibuprofen. 
Got it. Besides that, just keep your wounds clean with some antibiotic cream. Understood. Thank you, Doctor. All right, you folks have a safe trip back home. Thank you for everything, Doctor. <sighs> you ready to go home? Am I ever? I'm driving. Doctor's orders. <sighs> hey, I didn't get a chance to say it yesterday, but happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Jason. I love you. Love you too, Maggie. We should just pull over and ask for directions. Ask who for directions, Lisa? We're in the middle of nowhere. Look! There's a man over there! Uh, he's got a gun, Lisa. So? He's probably a hunter or something. Just stop and ask him how to get to the cabin. Fine. Um, excuse me. We rented a cabin around here somewhere. Do you know where it might be? Oh, good afternoon, folks. You're looking for the Golden Circle cabins? Yeah, that's the place. Just keep on going up this road. There'll be a fork in the road. You're gonna want to go left. That'll bring you straight there. Thank you so much. Hey, you a hunter? On occasion. Is it true that there's some sort of rare deer in these woods? Nah, no rare deer here. Just two hearts finally reunited. All right, then. Uh, well, thanks for the directions. You're welcome. Have a good day now, and enjoy your stay. What do you think he meant? Two hearts reunited. Who knows? This episode of Shot Through the Heart was written by Carrie Murphy and Jenna Oliver, starring the voice talents of Adigail Stewart as Maggie Phillips, Joey Sorless as Jason Barnes, Gail Rivera as Harrison Bell, Michelle Liliatan as Stephanie Davison, Ashley Trotto as Annabelle Collins, Shavili Gutierrez as Penny, James Takahashi as Hunter, Vanessa Benoit as The Doctor, Nico Abanella as Nick. Lauren Kong as Lisa. With music by Key Garland. Wayward theme written, composed, and performed by Key Garland. 